Microsoft has introduced a new BI tool for Excel 2010 and SharePoint 2010 called PowerPivot. The goal of this video is to introduce you to this tool and show how it can be used with Mobile Entree. So let's get started. What we're going to do is start with Excel and I've there's an add-in called PowerPivot that you can download from Microsoft's site and once it is installed in Excel it shows up as an additional tab as you can see here. And I'll click on the Power Pivot window and this will bring up a ribbon that presents me with options of different places where I can get data. I'm going to start with a text file. This is just basically a flat file and if you think of it this is sales data from stores. So coming maybe from legacy systems I want to see the first row as column headers and I'm gonna just go with the data that's there. I could actually check these boxes and and eliminate some of the data if I so desired. And I'm gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time to load here but I want to just for you to see that no smoke and mirrors uh, the number of rows that are going to be loaded from this flat file. And when it finishes, it should be about 1.8 million rows. Power Pivot is a very powerful tool used with Excel, uh, as I think you will see. So now you can see we've loaded the 1.8 million rows. So I'm going to close that and now you can see it here. There's a tab down below that says demo. Now what I want to do is bring in some more data. So I'm going to go to Excel and I'm going to bring in a file called store location and it's just a spreadsheet it has the store number and the location of the stores and I want to copy this and then I'm going to go back to my power pivot screen here. I'm just going to do a paste. Store location table. And I'll say OK. OK, so now you can see we have the store location data. We have the demo data. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more columns to this demo data. I want to add year and I want to add month. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to the this little symbol here and click it and you'll see I get a whole bunch of different choices. I'm going to scroll to the bottom here and select year. Okay and so it starts a query string. So I'm going to go down to the date column here and just select one of these date fields and click on it. And you'll see that it filled it in and I'll close the parents and check it. And you'll see now it's created a year from these date fields for this column. And over here I want to create a column for month. So again I want to go down and find month. Yeah, I'll select month. And then once again, I'm going to go over and click in date and close the parents. And now you see I have the corresponding number for the month of the year. And we'll change the titles here. We'll rename this column to year. And we'll rename this column month. All right. Now, one more thing I want to do is I want to associate these two pieces of information that I have, the store location table and the demo. So what I'm going to do is go to design and I want to create a relationship. So I want, I have, uh, correct this, what I want to first do is I want to go to store ID, 
just to make it a little quicker. I could have picked it from the drop down right here. But demo is the name of the table, and the store ID is the column, and the related table is going to be store location table, which is that one that we brought in from the Excel, and the related column is going to be store create. So now that is going that has associated the two. So now I'll go to the home tab and I want to create a pivot table. And we'll put it in a new worksheet. So now what you'll see if you're familiar with pivot tables normally you would just have this one set of, of uh, fields to select from but now I have two sets. I have the demo plus I have the store location table. So we're going to want to look at division, revenue, year, month, and region. And I'm going to move division over into the column labels. And I want to move year up under the report filter and month up under the report filter. So you can see now I have the, the various stores by region. I have the divisions or products running across here and then I can select year and month to sort on this in a pivot table. Now I'm going to slip on options and I want to insert a pivot chart. And we'll just make it columns. So this is based on this table. So you can see I have the various products and regions and the sales related to each one of those. So now what I want to do is create a mobile view. So I'll have a new pivot dashboard is what I want to create. And we'll select that pivot table that I just and this is going to be sales by region. And I also want to include the chart. OK. And then I'm going to save this. Bring up the iPhone using Safari and the emulator to emulate the iPhone. And I've created a site here for calling it Fashion RS, Fashion RS. I'm in retail, so I'm going to go to the retail site. And I am a site sales manager. So here I have the, my, through my, con my um, profile, I can see that my tasks that are, that are due. And you can see here I have the pivot table by product that we just built. Now I'm getting ready to order some more sunglasses for the various regions and I really need to know who I need to focus on first. So I want to filter this data and remember this is 1.8 million rows of data. So I'm going to go in and I want to look at Arizona, California, Florida, and Hawaii. Sunglasses. What were the sales in 2009 for December with the holiday coming up? Another new feature in 2.1 for pivot tables is when you do filter on the data it shows you the various elements that you've selected. So once I've run the filter I can see fairly quickly that California is going to be my number one focus and then Florida would be second. So I need to now get a hold of Mike who is in charge of selecting the new uh, eyewear that we're going to be selling. So I go to my site and to my colleagues list and I see Mike down here and so I click on him and I want to see where he's at 
because I need to set up a meeting. So I click his location and I see that he's out on the Outer Banks. Uh, must be out on the beach testing sunglasses. Uh, it's tough, tough work, but somebody's got to do it. So I want to send Mike a note via the note board in my site in SharePoint. And I'll just say, Mike, uh, need to meet next week to discuss new. And I'll post that. Now I'm going to log in as Mike and go to my site and look at news feeds. And what I'll see today is September 14th. It says George Washington posted a note 53 minutes ago. Need to meet next week to discuss new sunglasses. So as you can see, the integration of the features of Power Pivot into Mobile Entree and the introduction now of my site is, uh, provides a very, very rich environment uh, for people in the business world to interact and collaborate together. I hope this was informative. Please Stay tuned for new videos as they come online. Thank you.